Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn the macro profile health specification with Quarkus. Let's start. I already created a simple Quarkus project. Here you can see my POMXML with all dependencies that I decide to use. This project has one resource class, TV series resource, with two get endpoints, fetch TV series and get all. The fetch TV series endpoint first gets the information about a specific TV series from an external API using the TV proxy, it's a REST client, and then it stores this information inside the database using the TV series entity, storing only the name and the summary. Instead, the get hold endpoint fetches all the TV series inside the database using the TV series repository. The TV series repository is just a panache repository of a TV series entity. The TV series entity is a simple JPI entity with an ID, name, and summary. Inside the application properties, you can see the URL of the API, TV Maids API, used by the TV series proxy to retrieve a TV series object. You can also see the properties to connect the application with the PostgreSQL database. In this video, I'm using the Docker PostgreSQL image. Let me just run the project in development mode. Good. And you can see the server is up and running and listening to the port 8080. Let's open Postman and run the get endpoint fetch TV series, putting, for example, the title Stranger Things and then CentOS. Now let's also run the get endpoint get hold to fetch all the TV series inside the database. Now let's see what will happen if we put the wrong API URL. We got a 500 internal server error and inside the log we have to take the time to read them and understand the error. To have more information and quickly check the status of our application, our microservice, we can use the MicroProfile help specification. Instead of POMXML, let's put a, a new dependency, SmallRi help. Let me run again the project in development mode. Now let's go inside the slash health. and we can see the information about uh, our application. We can see, we can use the slash health slash live and also slash health slash ready. In the slash ready, you can see the information about the database connection. Let's go back inside the project and let me create a new Java class TV series proxy health
first I'm gonna to put the annotation liveness And then I'm going to inject the REST client TV series proxy. In the end, inside the call method, I'm gonna use the TV series proxy to call the external API. I'm gonna to put a fake title because I don't care about the response. I care about the status, that the status is up. Let's stop the server and run it again in development mode. Go again inside slash health slash live. And now you can see the status up of TV Maze API. Let's test it with the Bronx URL. As you can see now, the global status is down because the status of TV Maze API is down. Let's move on and let me add a new configuration property default title. I'm gonna to use it inside the TV series resource, inside the fetch TV series endpoint, if the user doesn't put the title inside the request. Let's first test this change. Good, it's working. Now, let's see what will happen if the default title properties is not defined. Of course, we got a 500 internal server error. 
Again, I want to check the status of my application to understand if, if everything is ready. I'm gonna to create a new Java class, TV series check. I'm gonna to put the annotation readiness. And before putting the logic inside the call method, I have to refactor the TV series resource using the config provider. Now I'm going to do the same inside the method call. If the property is present, I will return a status up, otherwise a status down. Let's go and try it. As you can see now, we check also the default title properties. And if we put back the property, the status will be up. I want to show you another way to check just the status of the external APIs using the URL help check. I'm going to create a new Java class, TV series proxy URL. I'm going to put the annotation application scoped and a method URL that return a help check object with annotation liveness.
let's run the project development mode. And here you can see the API URL check is up. Last but not least, I want to show you another thing. Open the browser, type localhost 8080 slash help, and you can see the status of our application. It's represented by a simple JSON. Let me just put down the database. The database down. It will be great if we're going to have a more visual interface with color to quickly understand the status of each chuck. Well, we have it by default. Go to slash health UI. Great. Now, let me put back the database. And now everything is green, meaning up. We can also customize the URL. So instead of having slash help, I'm going to put, for example, slash check. The source code of this video you can find inside my GitHub repository. Feel free to clone it. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. Please subscribe to this channel if you want. And if you have any questions or doubts, don't hesitate to contact me. You can find me on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. And I'll see you in the next video about Quarkus. Bye.